Researchers and innovators across India are working day and night to help our medical fraternity to deal with COVID-19 cases. Among them are innovators from IIT Madras. With me today in the dialogue is Abhijit Rathor, who is the CTO and founder of uh, Fabhead Automation, which is producing intubation boxes. Uh, intubation boxes are used for the patients which are on ventilator. Uh, so Abhijit, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Ganshan. First of all, tell us what exactly you were doing before COVID-19 because you are a startup, right? Yeah, so Fabheads Automation, our startup is basically concerned with making carbon fiber components. So since this is a very high performance material, we do uh, components for space, uh, defense and drone segments. So that's our regular job and uh, when did you start working on uh, this project, this intubation boxes? And I heard this is for the first time that India is, is making this kind of boxes. Right. So uh, as the lockdown happened, we were all uh, locked in our homes. And so first few days, we also didn't have any plan of how to work from home. So, and we were getting news from all over the world, like how other countries are coping up with the uh, COVID and how different people are coming up with the innovation. innovation. So, yeah, so we got the, uh, it's not exactly our idea. So we got to know that people are making intubation boxes all around the world. And this is the first time it is happening in, uh, you know, because this is such a contagious uh, disease and doctors especially are exposed to the disease much because the critical patient in COVID, they are, they are intubated. So when you do intubation, you basically put a pipe inside the, windpipe of a person and then you go to the lungs of that person and ventilate them. So during this process, body obviously uh, tries to repel the pipe which you are trying to put inside and this process leads to coughing uh, and uh, there will be aerosol and liquid splashes from the patient. Which so could this, be risky for the doctors. Yes, this is extremely risky for doctors and it's not just that it goes and splashes on the doctors, it's can go up to five to six feet in the room. It may be a ICU room and it can go uh, and sit on the, on the equipment and everything. So you basically have to clean everything up after you intubate a patient. So this is a new innovation that came up in Taiwan and we came to know about it that uh, this is a transparent box. Uh, it's, it's called intubation box. It's a transparent box, uh, which is, uh, Cover, which covers the patient over the head and the shoulders and the doctors put their hands through the uh, back panel. So the doctors are basically uh, totally shielded from the splashes or the cough which can happen from patient. Also the surrounding area of the ICU or the operation theater is also saved from the splashes and aerosol that comes out of it. it it's, a, it's made up of plastic so you can easily clean it and uh, reuse it again and again. Which kind of plastic it is and from where uh, you, you procured the raw material when it is entire, entire India is in lockdown? Yeah, so this is, so there are alternatives to this, but the basic necessity is the strength of the plastic and transparency. So basically doctor needs to see the patient while intubating because it's a complicated procedure. So acrylic and polycarbonate are two such materials which can be used to make this. And we have confirmed uh, this with our friends who are doctors in US also, and we confirmed with doctors in India also. And already since US and Canada were ahead of this, so we got to know that already people are making these things with polycarbonate ac acrylic there. So uh, be because we are a fabrication startup, so we had few contacts already in Chennai and few vendors. So we contacted them and they were able to provide us acrylic very quickly. And we had vendors with laser cutting and all these kind of uh, capabilities. So we were able to come up with the, with the first few boxes very quickly. And then we were able to distribute to hospitals, to the doctors to do trials. Mm -hmm. What has been the response of the doctors so far? So, so far the doctors have been able to do few trials because uh, they, they have been very busy dealing with the, all the patients, especially in Chennai. So the doctors, who have tried the intubation box, they say that is definitely useful because it saves them and it's not uh, difficult to, you know, operate on the, on, uh, on the patient using these boxes. So since this is a very inexpensive,
expensive equipment and it definitely provides like a significant uh, safety to the doctors they are, they are willing to uh, procure more of these boxes for the hospital what is the production so they, cost they like the idea what is the production so, cost so right now we have made very few boxes small number of boxes so the production cost is around 4000 and so once uh, if the demand is high and we are able to produce it in uh, large numbers the production cost will go down up to 3000 go down to 3000 i think it it would be an affordable cost still because uh, the, the, this uh, intubation boxes are used only for the patients who are on ventilator right yes exactly mm -hmm. yes so how, also, how? Uh, please please go yeah ahead. also since the intubation box is uh, easily cleanable and sanitizable uh, a, a small hospital may need just two or three numbers and a big hospital may just need five to ten numbers of these so the cost is definitely justified because it saves their highly qualified doctors from being infected can can you produce in in large scale suppose you get orders from across india maybe in thousands number of thousands. can you produce that much amount yes so uh, we have calculated with our existing vendors and existing supply chain we can actually do uh, 100 100 plus numbers in a week and this is just with one vendor we are talking about. So if there are there is a demand of like thousands of boxes, we will definitely be contacting more vendors and we can definitely scale up to thousands of boxes per week. Is there any other project uh, related to COVID-19 on which you are working on? So we have been working on a few things like face shields. Uh, we have been trying to make N95 masks also, mm -hmm. but the N95 mask is actually a very complicated uh, thing to make with plastic parts because we uh, our, our expertise is in plastics. So mm -hmm. we were trying to you know get the models, open source models, and try to make N95 masks with those. But we were not able to get the exact filters which were required. Uh, you know because N95 N95 mask is basically uh, it saves 95% of uh, substance from going inside up to three micron of uh, size so mm -hmm. three micron size uh, particles cannot go inside the mask mm -hmm. up to 95 percent of the time so mm -hmm. we were not able to procure those exact filters for those masks and the vendors which we talked to they were uh, i would say not very uh, willing to give small small amounts of filters to us mm -hmm. to test out so yeah that that has been a hurdle for us so how exactly you are producing the boxes? I mean, uh, you said you are sitting at home because of the lockdown. So, so who is actually making these boxes? And uh, can you please show the box also? I, I, don't, I know you, you, it is difficult, but if you have. Yeah. So right now I don't have the box because I'm working from home and our boxes are sitting in the office. Mm -hmm. So we got some special permission from uh, uh, Tamil Nadu government, mm -hmm. uh, especially for COVID uh, situation. So eight member team, uh, they, they were approved to go in day shifts only to the office and we were assigned very specifically the vehicles which we can use to you know, go to the office and come back. There were very you know, strict guidelines given to us like you, you have to uh, wash your hands every two hours and you have to maintain a, a schedule when you wash your hands and you cannot work beyond seven and no even if you are going to the office you have to maintain the social distancing everything so by with these regulation and government permission we were able to send our uh, eight people team to the office and i was also there so we were able to do this with uh, government's permission thank you Abhijit. thank you for talking with us thank you ma'am